Today we are 10,000 feet up on top of a volcano in Maui. We are literally above the clouds. As you can imagine, it's quite cold up there. We had to work really fast and rush for this one for several reasons, not just because it's quite chilly up there, but the main reason is that it's a national park and we weren't in a designated parking area. We pulled over on the side where there was really no space to pull over. But the spot was so beautiful, we took a chance and hurried as fast as we could because park rangers drive by pretty regularly. I'm pretty sure if they saw a half-naked girl on the ridge and a guy with fancy camera gear, I'm pretty sure they would have stopped and demanded to see our permit, never mind the parking. We scurried up the hill to the ridge, one side of which looked down into the crater, which was amazing, and the other side down into the clouds far below, which was also amazing. I didn't have any time for light stands or anything, so I just grabbed an AD600 and just handheld it. We started out with a black outfit to match the black rocks they exposed kind of similarly. Not a lot of time to get creative, but I'm glad we got something. I wanted to get the vastness of the landscape, so I started with an obvious wide-angle lens, a 24mm. And this is a great example why I don't use wide angles for portraits. Unless the person is right in the middle of the shot, they get distorted. When they're off to the side, they start looking really wide. This shot, for example, makes her legs look short. So I switched to a 35. See the difference? Her legs don't look as stumpy now. 35mm is about the widest I usually ever go when there's a person in the shot. So remember, when using wide-angle lenses to keep the subject in the middle of the shot if you can to avoid distortion. I always take a couple of pictures with no flash. You never know. Sometimes you get something really cool, artsy, and moody. I like ones like this that keep the mind guessing to fill in the rest. And here's a couple more with the flash, which was really weighing down my arm. That sucker is heavy when you hold it like this. I did as many as I could, but damn, my arm was on fire. So I had to go get a light stand. Now we turn to face the other direction, towards the clouds. A whole different look. Kara changed into a white outfit so I could darken the exposure so the white clouds would be properly exposed, which was great for the white outfit also. A black outfit would have just been solid black. You can see this with the black rocks that aren't being hit by the flash. But it worked. Her white outfit was perfectly exposed, just like the white clouds. And because I darkened the exposure, the blue sky looks awesome and helps her really stand out. Man, the warm skin tones against the blue sky go perfectly together. So it's basically just blue, brown, white, and black. Nice and clean. I like these pictures more than the black ones facing the other way. And this is what it looks like with no flash. I kind of like it. It makes her dark like the rocks. Nice look to it. And this is with a flash. I get a rush of excitement when I see a perfect exposure like this in the viewfinder. Everything just is perfect. I just, it just gives me a rush. That white outfit was custom made for Kara by a corset maker in Switzerland. It was handmade. It took four months and it cost several thousand dollars, but it was worth it. It's perfect up here. Now remember, we are above the clouds. This is the altitude airplanes fly at. The oxygen is pretty thin and it's quite cold just downright chilly up here and wearing almost nothing up here that's the sign of a true model Kara was awesome now imagine a park ranger driving by looking up on the ridge and seeing her up there wearing this and a photographer with a light stand there is no way they would have let that slide oh oh no i'm not a professional photographer we're just having some fun taking pictures up here for fun uh, yeah uh yeah right luckily no one saw us and we finished quickly enough I'm so glad we were able to pull this off. What an amazing, magical place. I wish we could have stayed longer. But it was really cold up there. I mean, really cold. This place really touches my soul. I connect with it on a deep level I can't really describe. It's quite spiritual being up here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little surreal moment. We love sharing them. See you at the next location.